Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I got a shorter video. Um, I got to give credit to where credit's due. Meyer at Power Driven turned me on to these. And I'm going to show you guys how we saved over 20 pounds for around $300. And it should improve some of the other things in our truck. So without further ado, let's go. Now, for those of you guys that don't remember, we had an Optima battery. Optima was sitting right here. Um, I took it out, and I'll show you guys what it weighed. Now, this is a different company, Ionic. Um, they claim that they're out of South Carolina. The battery's made in Thailand or Singapore. But these are super light lithium-ion batteries. And Myers had his for quite a while. It actually will charge on a regular alternator. It's a regular 12-volt battery but it is so so light now you guys i'll post up the weight right there sorry we're kind of filming this a lot of order i wasn't going to turn this into a video i was like you know what if you're in the need of a race battery maybe this is what you need so again ionic is the name of the company let me try to find the brochure Here it is. All right, right here. Ionic starter battery. Um, there is their info here. Uh, I did not get paid to make this video, nor did Meyer get paid to tell me about it. So we are modifying our battery hold down. The battery posts were opposite of what I needed. And it's much easier to chop up that bracket than it is to buy a new bracket, especially considering our bracket is already welded onto the frame. Dumb move by me, but we're able to make it work. So it has an app and all this stuff, but it has this battery uh, button for lack of a better word. So what we did was this originally sat like this. Well, as you can see, that would arc. So I cut it, we're gonna flip this around weld it like so should work out pretty good and then we'll make a new strap that comes down here now this strap is really only keeping the battery from popping up it can't go back it can't go to the side there's a bunch of fingers here so before you guys come at me in the comments about oh my god blah 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 blah, blah i i did think about it this was the best option that we had for what was already on the truck without spending a bunch of extra money so i'm gonna keep cutting and grinding i think we've reached the point actually where we can weld this together so to speak uh, i'm gonna get all the edges prepped and then we'll burn it in with the old tig all right so i prepped everything i made my little marks that's got a butt up to that let me get it tacked in here real quick guys so here you guys go you guys can kind of see what we're going for now um in the effort of strength i'm gonna take just a strap weld it to here, bend it down, and probably drill two new tabs um, where the bolts go. Uh, but I did cut, weld this. I did grind down the top weld just to make it look like it was uniform. And then under here, we did triple pass on the old TIG. So uh, that is kind of where we're at. And yeah, now we just got to figure that out. Once I figure it out, we'll get back to you guys.
Okay, so this part's obviously pretty warm still, but we'll see if we can't throw it on here. It's actually turning out pretty sick, in my opinion. So come around here. We just don't wanna potentially melt this battery. Boom. Okay, so then we just gotta get our mark. It's gonna fit really nice, honestly. Amishly, we'll get our last little bit here and figure out where we need to cut it. And that's about it, guys. That'll be it. Whew. Look at that. Okay guys, got her all welded up here. <clears throat> Let's see, did we, oh my God, I welded it backwards. <laughs> Oops, all right, wow, that was dumb. Very dumb, okay, let me fix this. Well guys, that was very dumb, but hey, look at that. Listen, I'm not going to sit here and claim to be the world's best fabricator, because clearly I'm not. But once we give that a little paint, that ain't going anywhere. So that makes me excited. Got a nice pinch on it. Oh, yeah. And we got the window so you can see the lights. Terminals connect correctly. So all we are needing is a little bit of paint. Now, I can't show you guys the app, but what I can tell you is it tells you the uh, individual cells voltage, it tells you the temperature, it tells you how much of the battery life is there, battery health, pretty cool. It Like if you wanna play with it, download it, it's all Bluetooth, which is pretty cool. So in a nutshell, this battery, 25, pounds lighter only legitimately only about a hundred dollars more and when you're talking about saving 25 pounds and potentially having better uh voltage this should maintain our voltage a little better when we're doing all of our nitrous because this battery has more cold cranking amps it's I mean, hold on here. Let me let me look at it a little bit better. I think it's like 1,200 cold cranking amps. Either way, I'm pretty sure it's 1,200, and it's basically 1,200 like calculated, right? Because it's a lithium ion battery. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend to know. I know everything about batteries. I certainly do not. But uh, anyway, there is the battery. Big thanks to Meyer. Um, I know Todd switched over one of these. I think Will got one as well. But again, Meyer is the one that figured it or found them. And then, yeah, we uh, got it. We got our mount. I'm going to paint it, put it together. But all in all, pretty freaking sweet. If you're in the race truck market, I know there's a lot of competing batteries, so to speak. Uh, this one is by far the cheapest race battery I've ever seen. And it only weighs 15 Pounds. As I showed you guys on the scale, I'll put up my Optima right here, and then I'll put up the Ionic one more time. So, golly, if you need a battery for your race truck, I check these out. If you're trying to cut weight, 
again, check these out. Anyway, guys, we are so close to firing this up. I wish I could have cranked on this battery for you in the video. Uh, our pumps are almost here. Uh, we also have a new wheel and tire set up to show you guys as well for um, not only drag racing, but also for the dyno. Um, you know, I've posted a lot of YouTube shorts and stuff like that. And I've had a lot of people, um, you know, challenging or saying we're dumb for this, that, or the other. Uh, these tires, okay, these Nitto 420s are truly not rated for the speed of the dyno. Now, they are rated for the weight, but they are not rated for the speed. So, we started using drag radials, and that has been... I've probably done at least 20, 25 pulls on those tires. Now, my fault for not checking the date code, I actually didn't know radials had a date code, so that's on me. Um, I knew the tires were a little old, but we had used them with previous success, so I kind of wasn't that concerned about it. Um, again, we are taking safety as a priority. I mean, that's why we fixed the bedside. We reinforced the bed rail a little bit there. We're going to make sure everyone gets back when we go to diesels on the mountain, we have drive shaft loops, fire suppression, uh, all the fire suit stuff. We have a battery kill. We have a engine diaper. We will have cables. I have an extra transmission blanket for the firewall. Like, trust me, there's nobody that wants to get hurt by these trucks, including myself. And I will do everything I can to make sure that I at least keep the crowd safe. However, when you're doing this kind of stuff, they don't make a drag or a, a dyno tire, you know, and everyone hub this, hub that. The hub dyno is cool, like 100%, but there's a skill to making a chassis dyno take the power. And my biggest gripe for all the guys that are hub dyno, it's easier. And that's why everyone wants to do it because you don't have to worry about the suspension. You don't have to worry about the tires. You don't have to worry about a bunch of factors that play into it. So yes, is a dyno a game? Yeah, it's a competition. That's why it says dyno competition, not dyno tuning, not dyno session. It says dyno competition. So there's a lot of skill to that. And uh, I think that goes lost on a lot of people. And it's cool to see all these new guys popping up, um, trying to do it. And they're realizing why we do certain things a certain way. But anyway, long story short, new wheels, new tires for the dyno to keep everyone including myself and the truck safe new battery again we'll crank it up in the next video i promise give this one a big thumbs up uh when this video goes up we have diesels in the mountain that is september 12th and 13th richfield utah we will have a booth um we'll be right next to the power driven diesel guys come check it out we are going for some big power so give this one a big thumbs up drop your comments down below subscribe if you are not already and as always i'll catch y'all on the next one